All right, guys, Shane Head here for Pop RVs coming to you from Stamps, Arkansas, right here in the heart of Southwest Arkansas. Only about an hour, about 30 to 45 minutes away from Texarkana, Texas and Arkansas. We've got a good find for you here today, guys. We got a 2020 Puma XLE Lite. This is a 27 and a half foot bumper pool camper trailer. This is the model 24 FBSC. Uh, so this is a really desirable floor plan in a very manageable towing package. One slide out for easy access, very simple and useful design. The XLE light gives you some upgrades over the standard package. It gives you the front diamond plate protector up on the front of the cap here that you see. Also gives you some goodies inside such as the uh, Furion uh, uh, entertainment system that has the Bluetooth capability. It also gives you the power extending uh, outside awning with the LED lights. Uh, so a really good setup. Uh, guys, as you can see, it is stored underneath a metal carport, so it is protected from the weather. Uh, one owner bought brand new, barely used. Unfortunately, the seller's having to sell due to health reasons, so uh, practically a brand new unit still. And I apologize for the obstructive view. Can't get a lot around it because of the carport that is parked under, but we'll do our best to give you a good overview and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and move away from it so you can kind of see the side profile. <clears throat> and guys, with this listing, like all our listings at Pop RVs, if you've got questions or you wanna put in an offer, reach out to us at the number you see below in the video, or you can call me directly, Shane Head at 903-293-3851. If you need an RV lender to deal with, we've got some great RV lenders we can connect you with, as well as this being such a new unit, you will be able to qualify some, some really good extended warranty options. So there you have the uh, passenger side view. Of course, the exterior still looks new, uh, that corrugated metal with the graphics package, nice color combination, no fading, no sunburn, no oxidation, stored covered. Up front, you do have your two standard LP gas bottles. You have your power tongue hitch, or your power uh, tongue jack, rather. Uh, this does have the Husky uh, load leveling uh, sway bars and hitch assembly to go with the RV. Of course, you can see your your coach battery or your house battery there. So move over to the passenger side, you can see it does have the one slide out. Now guys, the slide out's not completely open. As you can see, they don't have enough width under here, but it will give you a pretty good idea of the layout nonetheless. You've got a pass-through storage here on the front. It comes from uh, the left and right side, of course. You've got built-in load levelers, so you can look and see on the front rear and sides how leveled you are make sure that bubbles in the middle you got the one slide out which is your dinette slide out extends the usability of the kitchen area it's directly across from the kitchen you got a front bedroom rear bathroom floor plan which we'll get into here in just a few minutes i do have it hooked up to uh just a standard receptacle, so we have lights inside, but it is a 30 amp service coming in. Of course, your black water, gray water outlets. Exterior wash down shower, city water connection, hot water heater access. As we look at the slide, of course, practically brand new. Seals and gaskets look good up against the slide. You get underneath, no protrusions, no scrapes, nothing like that. Of course, no rust on the frame. Tires look brand new because they are still really really new apologize for the train in the background we'll let that pass <clears throat> you do have four point manual leveling jacks on the front and the rear spare tire package standard steel bumper as part of the package from puma try to give you another look here from the driver so the passenger side we'll get a little closer Get you a little better look at the condition of the paint no issues there of course i can't open the awning underneath here but no expectations for there to be any issues with that being such a new unit and barely used and stored covered we've got exterior 110 outlets 
fresh water connection, swing away, entry assist handle, swing under steel entry steps. We're gonna go ahead and enter the interior now. Dual lock system on the door and a screen. And as you come into the interior, you're greeted by um, really modern colors and materials inside. As you come in, you can look across the way from the kitchen and that slide out. Again, the slide out is not completely open. There's still about another foot, foot and a half of movement on that slide to give you some relationship to space and how much it will open things up in here. Already quite roomy for a 27 and a half foot option. Had a nice looking countertop on the sink, by the sink rather. Travel covers, it's a large farmhouse style sink, one single sink. You've got the Greystone three burner cooktop and oven, microwave oven, vent hood, nice simulated tile backsplash, real pretty overhead cabinetry and above and below, lots of storage. You've got a jackknife sofa sleeper. Of course, the materials are in really great shape. There's storage underneath that as well, storage up above. <clears throat> You've got your convertible dinette sleeper. Beneath the cushions, there is storage inside both sides of this, so lots of storage options. And part of the uh, XLE light package that you get with this particular model, again, as I mentioned earlier, is that Furion Entertainment Center, uh, Bluetooth capable, USB, and of course, your DVD the Greystone built-in fireplace, and then you've got your TV mounted on a swing-away mount, so it's very customizable in terms of where you want your viewing to be. You've got flush-mounted speakers built into the top, or in the ceiling, rather. Uh, you got a centrally uh, central ducted heating and cooling system, one single overhead unit, plenty big for this size, this size RV. Kind of give you a view of the kitchen area from afar. You got your Dometic over under refrigerator freezer. This is your standard LP gas slash electric unit. And they've got it cracked open to keep it from mildewing. Again, we said we had a rear bathroom. Lots of room in the bathroom. You got a chair height head. Nice wide entry to your, to your shower. You do have a recessed skylight for a little bit extra height. A simulated tile um, shower enclosure. Across the way, You've got nice linen storage, another hanging rod, can double as a closet. <clears throat> Bathroom sink with the same simulated stone countertops, just like in the kitchen, built-in medicine cabinet. You've got a vinyl barnwood style floor, really modern looking with the materials that are in here. It looks really good. And as we move to the very front of the RV, you've got your master bedroom. As you enter the bedroom, you do have a pocket door that slides and locks in place while traveling. Equipped with a queen bed with storage underneath. You've got these extended built-in shelvings or nightstands on the side. You've got USB charging ports in the wall, 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. You've got many closets to the left and right of the bed, overhead storage. And you do have a smaller flat screen TV corner mounted in the bedroom already hooked up to your site to your uh, antenna system. So really good floor plan in a small amount of space in an RV that has a dry weight of just around 5,000 pounds. So this is a very manageable RV to tow behind a variety of vehicles. You don't need a heavy duty truck to handle this. The beauty of that small, sm that small uh, slide out is that uh, along with the length, it gives you a lot of options to get into some of the more remote uh, campsites across the country, uh, particularly if you're traveling up in the Northwest and some of the national parks that have length restrictions. This is a great unit to still have some room to have comfortable space. If it's just the two of you or you have a small family and you want to have kids sleep in the dinette, as well as the jackknife, you got the capability of sleeping up to six people in here, even with all the uh, with all the units broke down into their sleeping positions. So guys, there you have it, a 2020 Puma by Palomino, the model 24 FBSC. This is the 27 and a half foot version, available here at poprvs.com. If you've got questions and you'd like to set up a showing, you'd like to make an offer, call the number you see below on your screen. 
or you can reach out to me directly, Shane Head. I'm the local representative at 903-293-3851. Again, we can help you with lending. We can help you with warranties. Any questions you have, we're here at your disposal. Look forward to speaking to you. Shane Head saying thanks a lot for watching.